My personal highlight uh, while being out in Australia competing uh, at the Commonwealth Games is probably winning the 100 metre freestyle. You know, it's tough because I was also really proud of the 200 metre butterfly, uh, nipper and bronze in that. You know, for me, that was an event that we went in and it was sort of not really hyped about. And, you know, I was just happy to sort of be there and make the final. And, you know, I was quite a proud moment in an event that I, I don't really do much sort of training around. And, you know, but to get a, a PB in the final and, and a medal was, was huge. You know, and I was obviously really delighted. But, you know, the 100 free field was, was really stacked. So, yeah, I've got, I'm delighted with, with how that went. I knew that there were certain events that, I was able to potentially medal in, um, but you know there's, there's huge depth in the Commonwealth. You know England, Canada, South Africa. You know so many more nations as well. So you know it's going to be always pretty tough. But I think you know I've got to be particularly sort of thankful for the amazing team that I've had sort of behind me at Stirling University, but also the team that I was sort of swimming alongside through the relay teams as well. I sort of started swimming um, when I was pretty young. I don't really know. I think maybe about far, five or four. And then it mainly sort of started when I moved to Alloa. Um, and then my current coach, Steve Tigg, was there. Um, and he, he began coaching me at the age of nine. And sort of just his love for the sport, sort of I managed to catch on to that. And I just sort of fell in love with, with swimming and the way he sort of put it across. And then obviously moving to Stirling was, was an easy choice for myself as Steve was, had already been appointed uh, a job here. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of people that have sort of got my back and it's sort of, God, there's a lot of people I need to thank. It sort of helped things run smooth and allowed myself to, to focus first on my studies and but also on my, on my swimming as well. So we've devised a sort of part-time strategy and it, it, so far it's working very well. Uh, well, winning students has helped me massively and I think, you know, I've, I've, got, I've got to pay massive respect and, and thanks to, to, to winning students because of that, you know. I think with first year, you know, a lot on the mind of, of first years is finances, but I think with winning students that was definitely taken care of and, you know, this sort of stress element that comes with finances was, was taken care of as well and I think that allowed me for my studies and my swimming to be taken care of there and that was sort of a very important year with the Olympics, so, you know, that, that, that could be huge. You know, winning students is, is fundamental in terms of picking the right nutrition as it's more expensive, you know, but the right, right accommodation that I stay in as well. So, you know, it's just, it's just decision after decision that allows you to make those tiny, tiny little decisions that, that can that end up making great gains. Academic flexibility is incredibly helpful, uh, especially through winning students, because obviously that gives me a, a greater platform at the uh, University of Stirling as well to to be flexible within my studies so yeah you know I think if it wasn't for that then I don't think I'd be sitting here with, with these around my neck because of that I, I'm able to focus on swimming and you know it allows me to sort of decide whether or not I want to have this many modules or that many modules but it's also the, the key sort of partners within winning students and the University of Stirling that, that talk together and sort of allow these decisions to, to take place and I think you know there's, there's so many athletes across Scotland, athlete students should I say, that across Scotland that are so thankful for, for winning students um, because if it wasn't for that then I don't think all, all of the great sporting achievements would be possible.